human brain has one unusual ability. It can accept the information without using our uh, sense of feeling. I mean, we can see without using eyes, we can hear without using ears, we can smell without using our nose. But Diane is nine years old and she's going to demonstrate how to read with her eyes blindfolded and we have Larry. Larry, can you join us please? Larry is here. Larry, who is, how old are you Larry? I'm 11 years old. And he's going to demonstrate how to read the eyes blindfolded and we'd like to have Michelle join us. And Michelle is relatively unique. Michelle, how bad is your eyesight right now? My eyesight would be about a negative six. Negative six. Can you take off your glasses and hold them in front of the camera so the camera can see through them? Mm. Looks pretty blurred, doesn't it, in the camera right now? Okay, now let the camera look at your eyes uh, with your glasses off and look straight at the camera and we do a close-up of your eyes. Now put the, your glasses on so we can see how the camera looks. Um, does, it, does her eyes look pretty blurred right now? look good excellent so uh, the easiest way to demonstrate it to work with our visual abilities and that is the reason why I organized class and teach my students to see without using their eyes it looks like very unusual but yes it's unusual for today not for tomorrow I'm sure that tomorrow all schools will have this subject in their school program. And that is my student, Michelle. Uh, Michelle, how old are you? Twelve. Twelve. Thir almost thirteen. Almost thirteen. And I started uh, from her because uh, she has some problem with eyes. She using her glasses. And usually when I make my presentation, I ask Michelle, say, uh, what's your glasses? Minus? My glasses are um, negative fif five and a half. Okay. I'm taking this book, give it to Michelle, read it, Harry Potter, read it with your glasses. Snape's eyes met Harry's, and Harry knew what was coming. Snape was going to poison him. Harry imagined picking up his cauldron and... Thank you, Michelle. Now take out your glasses. Try to read it. Can't. She can't. So after this, I ask her to close eyes to take this blindfold. She does not need it, but okay, let it. This one, or which one do you like? Anyway, she cannot use her eyes, so it's just extra insurance. Okay, read. But Harry's thoughts had drifted. The perfumed fire always made him feel sleepy and and, and dull-witted. And Professor Trelawney's rambling talks on fortune-telling never helped Thank you, Michelle. Me. I'm taking this credit card, and in the bottom of this big site, maybe on the four or something like that one, read it without glasses. Your card is issued and serviced and serviced by Chase Bank USA. Wait a second. Anything? Like that one. No, not one second. I want to make your attention. Her eyes is looking somewhere here. She does not use her eyes. She is not <coughs> looking through the blindfold. She accepts the visual information using this part of her head. I have no explanation, we need to search it, but I just pay attention. Some of my students turn their head in another mm, side. I don't know why. Okay, Michelle. I'd, I'd like to introduce Dr. Singh. Uh, Dr. Singh is an ophthalmologist, and we'd like her to read the eye chart first with her eyes blindfolded. Can you do that for us? And uh, Michelle, I'd like you to hold it as far as you can from your eyes and read it. And then read each line. Nine five eight seven four two 
Can you read the, uh, try to read the bottom line as far and hold it as far from you as possible? The, the very tiniest print here. No, I can't get it. You don't need to make it far. Let the tree just read it, it because it's, it's impossible. It's yes, fine. so read it. I just want to see how far she can hold it. Um, I don't know which line I'm reading, but I'm getting the three. Break, no. The tiniest line. Three, three seven. Three seven. Yeah, it's, that is the third line from the bottom. Try to see uh, the last. Okay. Eight, can you two, read? Say, uh, eight, oh, you started. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Eight, six two or eight two, eight seven. I can check it. Can you read the line on top of it? Uh, which one? The one on top of it. Two, three, seven, eight, two, six. Okay. And the line on top of that? Three, seven, four, two, five, two, five, six. So now you should turn the head in another position. I don't know. Okay. Now, uh, can you do the same thing for us with your eyes, uh, with just a blindfold off and no glasses, and read through your eyes for us? How? Just read. Just, 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 just use your eyes to read it. Nine five eight seven four two eight four three six 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 three eight eight seven four five six three nine two five four two three six five. Three seven four two five eight nine nine three seven eight two six. Okay, now can you do with the glasses on, please? Nine five eight seven four two eight four three six three eight eight seven four five six three nine two five four two eight three six five three seven four two five eight nine three seven eight two six four three. Four three eight seven three nine. Thank you. So which is the last line you were able to read? With my eyes closed. Yes. I could read the last line, but I was up to I think around here. Oh, the the one which says. Two two two. I was able to read this line. Okay, so you can read the line that says point three. And can you read point three with your gla with your eyes open? Um. Without with glasses. glasses. Or with glasses. <coughs> yes. You point three with your glasses, and can yeah. read. Can you read? Okay, okay. And, and can you read point three without your glasses? Probably not. I mean, if they're really close to my face. Yeah. Can you try reading point three for us once again? Without my glasses. Without your glasses, sure. The last line. Yeah. Four two eight seven three nine. Okay, and uh, where would you have to hold this if your eyes were blindfolded? Here's the glasses. There, I think. Around there. Okay, so you actually have to hold it another six inches away for yeah. it to focus properly. I could, I, I could hold it closer, I could hold it a little further, I think. Okay, what's the furthest you could hold it to read the point three? Just close your eyes and do it for us. Think around. Around there? Yeah, okay, let me introduce my other students. They have no problem with their eyes, but uh, I invite them to demonstrate that they can see without using their eyes. So that is Diana. How old are you, Diana? Nine. Nine. And Larry? Eleven. Eleven. So put your blindfold. <coughs> oh, where is my... One second. You want something on the other side? Oh, no, no. <coughs> Light blue. Light blue. Black. Black. Brown. Brown. Orange. Orange. Light blue. Light blue. Pink. Pink. White. Give other colors to Larry. Larry. Pink. Pink. Green. Green. Blue. Blue. Purple. Purple. 
Orange. Orange. Blue. Blue. Purple. Orange. 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 Yes. Purple. Purple. Brown. Brown. It's enough. Okay. Uh, give it to me. Let's open any pages on Facebook. Uh, this is Dr. Kong. She's an internist. Okay. And can you come to check what she's going to read? So read it. How big is the biggest fish? The largest fish in the world is the whale shark. The biggest one ever measured was more than 12 meters long and probably Somebody. weighed. I want to <coughs> make your attention. Her eyes look somewhere there. She accepts the information is in this part of her head. <coughs> okay, let's another. Okay, read this one. How tall is the giraffe? But the giraffe is the tallest of all land animals. One um, second. If I put it there, can you read it? Yeah. How tall is a giraffe? The giraffe is the tallest of all land animals. A male giraffe can measure up to 19 or 20 feet from his feet to the top of the to one. Thank you, um, yeah, thank you. Larry, can uh, yeah. you read the eye chart for us, please? We'd like you to read. The, the bottom numbers Diane. at the bottom, okay. and Diane first, and then the one that says point three. Four, two, eight, seven, three, nine. Three, three, and the last one. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. And Diane, can, can you take the blindfold off and not read it for us with your eyes normally? Yeah. Six, two, eight, seven, three, nine. Uh, it's good she actually had it right the first time. She read it wrong the second time with her eyes. Oh, okay. It's four two eight. She was right first time. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Uh, it's kind of interesting. And Dines automatically moved it closer to her eyes uh, when she had to use her eyes than she did when she had her eyes blindfolded. Dine, did you? Why did you do that? Did you find? Okay. Analyze it. Perhaps Larry. Uh, Larry, you can do that for us. Just too. Larry, read the joke. I never do the same thing with Larry. Of course. Thank you know, because from time to time they said it's a kid, maybe they remember all these texts. No, that is Harry Potter. It's more than 800 pages. Honestly, all this hysteria about giants, they can't be all that horrible. It's the same sort of prejudice that people have toward werewolves. It's just bogatory, isn't it? Okay, let me do this one. Well, his parents, 14-year-old Harry Potter, thought he had found Saw us in the study girl for the Howard. And see, his eyes go. He's long. using his fingers, and the young lady didn't. He can, uh, he can, does not use it. It just, can you read without your finger? But who bored Hermione Granger? Uh, little did he know that he was short Thank and disheartened. Do you have your personal document, like uh, yeah, driver like, license? Like Larry? Yeah, Larry, read, read the bottom of this first. Okay. Read. So the eye chart, please. Mm -hmm. I think there's uh, magazines behind you too. Yes, but okay. okay. Uh, read the last chart for us from the, on the eye chart for us, please. Four, two, eight, seven, three, nine. Okay, now can you read for us with the belt of blindfold with your eyes open? Four, two, eight, seven, three, nine. Larry, I yes. noticed uh, that again, One second. You, you moved it uh, closer to your eyes. Why did you do that? Because. Um, when I was in my blindfold, my vision, like, I could see farther. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Well, when I'm in my blindfold, uh, I, feel, I have a feeling like I see farther from me. Okay, so, and I know I did the same thing too. So you actually, and I know that Michelle did that too. So you actually tend to move it further away from you? Uh, is that because of focal point? What do you think? I don't get it. You don't wear glasses, do you? So that wouldn't be the explanation. I mean, this kid, young kid has uh, very strong eyes, so this, the shifting of the of the plane, I, I have no explanation. He sees better without the blindfold. Is what, I mean, with the blindfold, he's saying. He sees better. He sees better with, it, with it, or he can see farther, even even better with the blindfold. Okay, now Dr. Cohen is going to do it. She's going to read the blindfold on. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have driver license. Larry will read it. He see it first time in his life. New York State driver license. Baron Jamie B. 350 East 82nd Street. I like that one because camera, yes. 3N. New York. New York 10028. Is it correct? It's correct. Yes, sir. Okay. 
take it. And you know, I want to show you that they can not just only read from the short uh, distance. Okay, stand there. And okay, oh no, 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 it's supposed to be because, uh, okay, stand there. Because it's supposed to be me and you are in a camera. Okay, yes, that is good. I'll do something, you follow me, do the same, that one. Do you want to do something for them? Oh, no, no, that was <laughs> okay. pretty happy there. Okay, now, okay, Larry. Uh, follow me, okay? You can see that he followed me around all this object. Don't make other noises, everybody. The sound doesn't make any difference. in a blindfold, go to find the ball and bring it here. Go to find the ball. And then the stalic data. Yes. Very fine. Yes. You see, he's moving this. Okay. Thank you, Larry. Come here. Yeah. Might will be the most terrible exercise. And <coughs> <that one. coughs> Give us a little space. It's terrible. It's terrible when the student beat his teacher. It's exercise. Yeah. blindfold. And it will be absolutely serious boxing. Mark. <laughs> oh, careful, Mark, you're going to get Yeah, hurt. I know. Mm -hmm. I can go home. He can see like, like he does that. Oh, okay. yeah. And he pronounced Larry the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Agree. Agree. Uh, so the same can show Diana. And uh, Sonia, come to me. Ask <laughs> coming a new student, that is your parents. And I was working with her maybe five, ten minutes, correct? Close your eyes. In total, five or ten minutes? Yeah, how, uh, tell us who you are and how old you are. I'm Sonia and I'm nine. You're nine? Mm -hmm. And you're the daughter of Dimitri? So daddy is here watching. Okay? Okay, close your eyes. Take it. In Go the colors. colors. Yellow, green. Check your eyes. Yellow, mm -hmm. blue, mm -hmm. pink. Yes. Green. Yes. Blue. Yes. Pink. Red. Okay, enough. Keep your eyes closed. Let's see the book. Close, close, close your eyes. 
I didn't try it yet, but okay, we will try it right now. Oh, okay. Try to read it. Which is the biggest spider? Mm -hmm. Then. The giant of the spider world is a female gall. Goliath. Uh, Five minutes with me. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Let's do this one. Okay, what color do you want here to take blue. off? What? Blue. Blue, take blue. Now, take red. God, I want to go like that one. Got you. Yes. Okay, and we didn't try yesterday blindfold. Okay, let's try it now. Let me check. Oops, sorry. Are you comfortable? Okay, let's see from the beginning. Okay, take this color, same with this. Red. Red, this one. Yellow. Yellow, this one. Green. Green, okay, let's play the same with the cups. Are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, take reds. One more red, find it. One step back, you will see. Check the old table, the old table. Mm -hmm. Find it. No, it's back of you. Yeah, find it. On a table, on a table, on a table. Yes, okay. Take, take uh, yellow. Take yellow. Oh, much better. Okay, and now I put some points on the table. You see, it's difficult to see with the open eyes. Larry, you want some coke? I think there's some diet coke. Okay, coke take the cup, take the cup. And pick up the coins. No, 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 no. You're supposed to take it using your fingers, not your hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, take it. How old is the oldest, the hmm? oldest student? Sorry, one more time. How old is your oldest student? 71 years old. 71. The youngest four in the cup. Time to slow down. She's feeling it with her hand. She's got Take a step back. See the coin and take yes. just two fingers. Two Good. fingers. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find it there, yes. Good. Yeah, we're proud of you. Go for it. Go for it. It's a New Yorker. She should be able to Yeah, there are six more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sonia. So uh, Larry, come here. We're gonna blindfold. Uh, did you say that your eldest student is 71? Yeah. Yes, it was my student, Ada Smushkova. She was 71 years old. Larry, come here. And, and she had no sight before? Oh, let me finish. Okay, Larry. Take, take the cup. Pick up the coins. You see how, how she's doing it. Oh, yeah, it's different, different color. Okay, take, take quarter, take dime, and pick up the, all of them. You see, he's taking it so easy. He saw it like his eyes. Larry, if the room is dark, could you do just as well? What if yes, you turn the no. lights off? Can you okay, try. If you turn the lights off for a second, please. As I said, it's like, it's okay, whatever. Leave it, leave it. Can you, can you see the coins? Yes. Let's see. He can pick okay, it. Put some more coins. I'm going to turn this light on. Okay, so wait, wait a second, Larry. 
Can you see it? Yes, you can. Yeah, I can really see it. That's difficult. Okay, can we can we get the eye chart for a second, please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Larry, leave your blindfold. I just want to see how well you can see in the dark with the eye chart. Oh, it? Oh, it's here. Yeah, can you try it reading? And start from the very top number on top and work your way down. Nine five. Eight seven four two eight four three six three eight eight seven four five. Since you, you just you had one class so far, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us what the first class was like and how did you feel? Well, I felt I felt fine because it felt normal. It felt like. Being, just playing some games, that's all. Were your eyes closed when you were just looking? They were, and, and do you feel that your, you don't feel like your eyes are, are open or wanting to open? It's, it's, it's hard for me to understand. <laughs> Not only for you. Yeah. Sonia, what part of the brain do you think you're using? Or do you feel a pain of some kind or a discomfort? Mm -hmm. Or just something opening up? The sign opening up. Okay, where do you feel the opening up coming? Right here, my brain. My right brain. here? Yeah. And what is, tell us what it feels like. I just don't feel anything, actually. Does it feel the same as if you're just looking at it? Mm -hmm. It feels exactly the same. So do you see you. everything around it as well? So, like, right now you're looking at me, and you see him off to the left, and him off to the right. Is that the same? Do you see the same, the same way? Or you focus on one? So I close your eyes and look at Dr. Cohn. Now, show some fingers to him. How, How many, many fingers do you see? Oh, uh, should, okay. should give you again. again. Do it again. Ready? Three. Good. Okay, and oh, where do you, th where do you, oh, well, when you close your eyes, close your eyes again, and tell us which part of the head you're looking from right now. Point your finger at your head where you're looking. Right here. Now, if you have your finger in front, can you still see the? You can still see her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now put your hand in front of your head, and now can you still see her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now take your hand away. Now can you see her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's Larry do this one. Okay. Which balloon do you want him to shoot? Shoot the orange. Orange, Larry. Oh. Okay, nice Diana, which color do you want her? Okay, do it yellow. Nice. Michelle. Let's Michelle do it. Okay, you have the last one. <laughs> do you need glasses? <laughs> okay, put it blind. Blindfold. Okay. Oh, Larry. Do it. Good job. I'm Dr. Singh. I'm an ophthalmologist. I practice in Westchester. Um, uh, Dr. Gladi and I are, are, are good friends, and um, you know, I, he invited me down here, and I had a normal, healthy dose of skepticism. And uh, you know, I, I do not have an explanation for what I've seen here today, and that's why I think it certainly warrants further study. Because if this is what's happening here, is truly. Uh, you know, a, a bona fide way of, of helping the handicapped, then this is, would be a real, uh, real boon to mankind. I'm Dr. Dana Cohen. I'm an internist, board certified here in New York City. Um, and I also came very skeptical. Um, but with a, with a, but open-minded. And um, I am just also kind of at a loss of words <laughs> um, and I think um, this is just so exciting for me um, I I can't wait to hear more about it to see more more students to to delve in and learn more about what's going on here with um, with Mark the teacher what you have seen today is almost a miracle that has never been done before. Mark Commissaro, who is next to us, is, uh, was our teacher. And Mark, how did you feel about your class that you had right now? 
you know, that is the goal of my life because uh, I'm 57 years old and for a long time, about 50 years old, I did not know why I came here to this earth. Now I know why and I'm feeling about my class. It's amazing. They do their job and they were excellent. You saw it by yourself. Thank you, Mark. What you have witnessed today may be perhaps the next generation of human beings. What Mark has managed to achieve is to teach young children of 10, 12 years old how to read and see without using their eyes or with the eyes blindfolded. Our research has shown that they're actually starting to use a portion of their brains on top of their head uh, which mankind has never used before in their lifetimes. Now only about 8% of the brain, according to research, is presently used by human beings. Perhaps with Mark's invention, we're creating a, an opportunity for mankind to start using another portion of the brain, and as a result, it may give us two wonderful benefits. The first one is, It'll give us a chance to teach blind children in Asia and India and America, millions of them who live their lives without any vision to be able to see again. And what a wonderful gift to mankind. And secondly, the ability for young children to open up their minds and increase their IQs to perhaps over 140 and more and create a brand new generation of super intelligent human beings that may bring all kinds of joy and happiness to us in our lives. I'm Dee Gulati from Patients Medical, 800 Second Avenue, Suite 900, New York, New York, 10017. And our phone number here, if you have any questions, is 212-661-7673. Again, 212-661-7673. And I'm Dee Gulati wishing you a good night. <laughs>